In one of the previous videos, we talked about placing points on the ground in a parking lot to take into CAD for creating a surface. I want to expand on that a little bit more because in the previous video we exported a DXF and imported the graphics. In this case, I want to take a roadway that was scanned. None of the noise has been cleaned. And what I'm going to do is place my fence and I'll pick my start point for the grid and from the tools menu I'll select points on grid. I'll set the origin to my pick point. If I wanted to rotate, I could say rotate for example, two degrees clockwise or counterclockwise, and get the grid alignment established the way I want. And then I'm going to again look for the ground point, and I'm going to do this on a two foot increment. I could drop this down to a foot if I'm looking for more accuracy, a half a foot, a tenth of a foot, whatever kind of interval I'm looking for. I'm going to start with point one. And I'm going to call these ground shots. I have the ability to preview these. Three hundred and fifty one points located. And if I'm satisfied, I can tell it to place those. Now those points are placed on my point cloud at the ground locations, ignoring any of the traffic or vehicular noise. What I'm going to do is hide my point cloud so that I can select all of my points. By right-clicking and editing the annotations, I can tell it to display the feature code and the point number that was previously established. To export this, I'll go to the File menu and Export. And my export of choice is Land XML. I'll call it Roadway and save that file. I want all objects that are selected and visible, and 351 objects were exported. I can now go into my survey software and import the Land XML file. Roadway XML, import, the land XML is in metric, my drawing is in feet, I want to apply the scale conversion and create a CRD file to import these two. I'll draw field to finish. and now I can go in and triangulate and create a surface. And now I can see the road data at that one foot grid interval. Since we have the surface, we could take this a step further and assume we went out and scanned again. In Cyclone, we created a grid using the same origin point, same orientation, the same spacing. We brought that data in and created a new surface from it, which I've called Second Scan. We can take the two surfaces. and use the cut and fill utilities to label the cut and fill differences between the two surfaces. Setting the roadway as my first or primary and the second scan as my secondary. 
the program will come in and label either the balance points or the positive or negative difference between the two surfaces.